What's going on Chemical Guys family and thanks so much for tuning in for today's episode of Detail Garage. Behind me we have this beautiful blue Tesla which is just like many of your vehicles a daily driver and that means it's faced with miles of harsh road environments that collect a lot of brake dust, grime, fallout and contamination and as you can see here the paintwork is covered in dust, bird droppings, pollen and also these white specks which we're not exactly sure of so today we're going to show you how to properly remove all that without inducing any kind of scratches but also enhancing that deep blue shine. To begin, we have two buckets set up on two dollies and we're going to insert a dirt trap in each. And also in the front of these buckets, you see we have our brand new freeloader. This is a great way to organize and store all of your detailing tools that you need on the job. So for those of you guys that don't have a detailing cart or a two shelf tool cart, this is a great way to have all the products you need outside and ready to go while also being mobile. So to begin, we're going to insert a dirt trap into each bucket placing them in at a 45 degree angle just so we don't trap any air underneath it and then pressing it all the way to the bottom of the bucket to create a nice tight seal. And while we're here, we can also add some of our Hybrid V7 car wash soap. And again, this is a great way to lay it on a thick layer of suds which help to emulsify and guide off any kind of abrasive particles like dust and dirt, as well as those white specks that are on the pores of the paint. And also, it's going to enhance that gloss and give you that deep lustrous shine. So guys, before we continue with the wash process, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and also drop your comments down below in the comment section for anything you guys may have questions about or anything you guys want to learn more about. We're going to shake the bottle, and you can place your soap in either bucket just as long as you know which is your soap and which is your rinse, which is why we have two buckets, just a couple ounces. And since we're down here, we're going to load up our Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon, which is just full of fresh water at the moment. We're going to use the same dilution of just a couple ounces. Reattach the top and just mix the solution together rather than shaking it. You just want to stir it so that you have that same dilution or that same ratio. And then as it foams, it'll actually aerate rather than causing foam inside of the bottle. Now, if we were doing a full blown detail in this vehicle, we would obviously start with the dirtiest area being the wheels. But since this is a daily driver and just like plenty of you guys, you wash your vehicles weekly or bi-weekly, same with this vehicle. But over the past week, going over hundreds of miles, it's just covered in dirt and debris. So we're going to show you guys a quick way to not only clean your vehicle, but also to clean your wheels using the same car wash foam. Just like many of you guys, we're outside the detail garage today where it's a little bit warmer and we're in direct sunlight. So we're showing you it is possible to wash your car outside. Just a few things to take into precaution before you get started. One, you want to make sure that the surface is nice and cool to the touch. And the reason for that is just so that you don't have any kind of dry spots or causing the soap to dry onto the vehicle. But since today it's not very hot and also this car was actually parked inside for a few hours, it's had time to cool off. And we're going to do our wash process fairly quickly. That way we can get to the drying and also any kind of next steps in the detailing process. So for today's detailing agenda, we're going to start by rinsing off this Tesla to knock off the heavier loose debris. And then we're going to come back and foam it to help encapsulate any abrasive particles and grime. And this is what's going to help safely guide it off the surface while also activating our suds and gathering some foam on our three-way wash mitt. This has three sides and the first side is a long dread noodle which helps to encapsulate foam and debris. Then you have a microfiber side which helps to scrub away any kind of stubborn grime. And then lastly, we have a bug scraper which is for that tough stuff that really sticks on the pores of the paint. And this is just a great way to safely guide all that kind of stuff off of the surface without inducing any kind of scratches or swirls. Well guys, as you clearly saw, we just finished drying off this Tesla using the large Woolly Mammoth drying towel. This helps to absorb all those water spots and droplets without causing any kind of streaks or scratching the surface. But however, even after washing the vehicle, those stubborn little white stains are still on the surface. So that brings us to our next step of the detailing process. where We're going to use a clay bar to extract it and also revive that 
beautiful smooth finish because even though V07 did an amazing job of adding gloss, those tiny little spots is what your eye sees first and it detracts from the overall look of the vehicle. Sometimes you come across unexpected delays such as stubborn staining or things that are on the surface of the vehicle that you have to remove, which is why we're going to adapt and move inside of the detail garage and get to claying. Now that we have the Tesla inside of the detail garage, we can actually thoroughly inspect the paintwork. And not only do we still see that there's those little white specks, but there's also other kinds of contamination that are staining the look of the vehicle. So to extract that, we have an OG clay bar, which I've already kneaded up into a small patty that covers about three or four fingers. And using clay lube, we're going to gently glide and extract all the contamination that's stuck in the pores of the paint that's giving you that rough look. And also it's taking away from the overall glossier effect of the vehicle. So to begin, we're going to spray a small section here using clay luber, and we're going to be generous since this is a darker vehicle, which will show any kind of marring or scratches, and also spraying the bar. And now we're just going to work back and forth, extracting any kind of pollutants or contamination that have clung to the surface of the paintwork, and again, giving that rough look and a rough feel. Now at first, it's going to feel kind of rough, or the clay bar may feel like it's dragging, but as you pull those impurities out of the pores, it's gonna to start to get smoother and the clay bar will start to glide and it'll sound quieter. And that's when you know when it's time to move on. Now after working one small section of the hood and the fender as well as the headlight using the OG clay bar, I can already feel that it's starting to get smoother. So now we're gonna take a clean microfiber towel and wipe off any spent product. And we can check our work. But the towel is just gliding across the paintwork so I already know that a lot of that contamination has been removed because it's really slick and smooth. And this is a great way to prep your vehicle for the next step of the detailing process, whether that's going to be polishing or if you're moving on to applying any kind of coatings. You want to make sure that the surface is as clean as possible. This way you get the best bond and the best results overall. And there you have it guys. You can see the before and after and the clay bar has done a tremendous job of restoring that OEM finish as well as that smooth glossy effect. Now I'm going to finish off the rest of the vehicle because as you see there's still a ton of those little white specks and contamination that are on the headlights, the bumper, the hood, as well as the glass. Now you can also use the clay bar on any glossy painted surfaces as well as anything else that's shiny or clear to remove any kind of embedded contaminants and prep it for the next step of the detailing process. So guys, I got a lot of work to do. I still have to do the hood, the fenders, as well as the glass. But in the meantime, you guys can let us know what you want to see us do next to this Tesla. Also, any other comments you may have, drop them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you know when the next video is coming out. And also, if you want to check out any of the products that you've seen here in today's video, head over to our website, chemicalguys.com or your local detail garage, and we'll see you next time.